hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how to make a one shoulder blouse with yoke if you are new to this channel you're welcome this is don larry and on this channel i upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting kindly subscribe and don't forget to put on your notification bell so to get started we're going to be modifying our front and back basic bodies i have a tutorial on the channel on how to draft your basic bodies pattern i'll put the link down in the description box so that you can check it out so we're going to be modifying this pattern to create our one shoulder pattern so as you can see i have the front and the back basic bodies without the dart so i'll be showing you how to add the dart and how to modify the neckline so let's start with the front so to make your one shoulder blouse either you're working directly on the fabric or on your pattern paper you will need to fold your pattern paper into two just like i have here and then you you create your neckline so here for the neck depth i use four inches for the neck width i use 4.25 inches so the shoulder that i'm working with the shoulder measurement is 15.5 inches and dividing it by two i have 7.75 so and i'm using 4.25 for the neck width so the shoulder measurement should be the guide for you to the neck width that you will be using so this is the shoulder slope the hand hole this is our upper chest line this is the bust line and for this tie you will need your under bust measurement so you measure that and then you draw out the line and also this is the waist line and below the waist line is the one inch joining allowance so i'm going to be joining this upper part to a peplum so if you are joining it also you will need a joining allowance and if you are making a long fitted blouse all you need to do is just to extend the length to your desired blouse length so having done this you will need to open your pattern paper or if you are working directly on the fabric you will need to open it up like this as you can see we have a full front bodice and the first thing we're going to be doing is to create the one shoulder neckline or asymmetric neckline and then we place our dart so once you've opened it like this then the first thing you will need to do is to decide which side you want to cut off to create in order to create your one shoulder blouse so i'll be cutting off this shoulder which means i'm keeping this side and once i've decided this is the part i'm cutting off the next thing i will do is to come to this to this shoulder tip and then i will measure 1.5 inch like that so once you've measured 1.5 inch, the next thing you will need to measure is the neck depth. As you can see here, we have 4 inches already for the neck depth. And this is for the basic neckline. So for the one shoulder neckline, you will need to go down below this 4 inches. So it now depends on how low you want it. So from the shoulder line, which is this line, I will just mark 6.5 inches. And that will be the neck depth. So depending on how low you want it so you can make yours six inches if you are not adding yoke to it you can make yours six inches but because we are adding yoke to it so i mark 6.5 inches and this is what we have here so once you've marked this then you come to this part that you are cutting off and then the armhole depth line which is from here to this line as you can see this is the middle point and also you find the middle point from here to here so which is here in my own case so can you see that and this will be the guide so now we are going to be connecting this mark to this mark and to this mark so as you can see i've connected this point to this neck depth and to this mark on the shoulder line so once you've connected that then we can now go ahead and place the dart and this will be our yoke so to place the waist that you will first of all input your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two since we folded this back into two so in my own case i have seven inches with the measurement i'm working with so i will just divide that into two that will give me 3.5 inches so i'll mark 3.5 inches because i'm drafting on the pattern paper but if you are working directly on your fabric all you need to do is just to add your half an inch allowance to it so if i assuming this is the fabric so i'll just mark four inches but i mark i mark 3.5 inches and i will also do the same on the waistline like this 
and once you've done this from your bust line go down by three quarter inch which is 0 0.75 inch like this so once you've marked this the next thing you want to do is to input your dart intake so for the under bust and the waistline i'll be using the same dart intake which is 1.5 inches so 1.5 inches and we have 0 0.75 inch at this side 0 0.75 inch at this side then here 0 0.75 inch at this side 0 0.75 inch at this side at this side so remember the the rule that the larger the bust the larger the dart intake so and then i will connect this to this and to this so as you can see i've connected all this point together and also you will need to blend if you have any sharp mark around here so you will need to blend it just to create a curve so next we're going to be creating our princess armhole dart and then as you can see the middle point of our armhole depth will be the guide for you so from this middle point first of all you will need to draw a curved line from here through to the bust point so just like this and the value of the dart we're going to be inputting here will be one inch so i will just measure one inch like this so once you've drawn out a curved line like this so on your bust point you will also need to mark three quarter inch or one inch between three quarter inch or one inch upward so i'm marking three quarter inch exactly the same thing that i marked here then we're going to be connecting this one inch that value that we mark from here you will connect that to this point so as you can see what i have here so once you have all this all you will need to do is just to smoothen all this uh, line so you make sure it is round because our boss is round and not pointed so you make sure you blend all this sharp mark together so and that is what i'm doing now so you blend it from here through to here you make sure you create a kind of curved shape and also this top line this top curved line you will also need to blend it to this dart line so you can see the way you can see the curved line so like this then this one inch dart value that we use you will need to add it back so that when you are cutting on the fabric you will not be short of that one inch so you mark that one inch then i will connect it and then we're going to be creating a new armhole cuff so once you've done this then you're going to transfer exactly what you have here to the other side of the paper so as you can see i've transferred the dots exactly what i have here to this other side and as you know that we're going to be cutting out the yoke so you don't need to worry about the the value of the dart that you have here so on the yoke we are not going to trace out any dart so how you will need to do now we're going to be using this value of the dart that we have here so from here to here you measure the dart value that we have so and here we have three quarter inch so that three quarter inch i will go ahead and add it to this uh line so from here now i will add three quarter i will mark three quarter inch which is here and then i will create a new armhole curve so can you see that so you make sure that the value because once you sewn the dart on this part of the of the top and you don't have the value back you will be short of the fabric so you make sure you had it back like this and once you've done this then we can now go ahead and create the side seam so i will fold it back so that we can create it at one side so you input your measurement at this stage so the bust measurement i'm working with is 38 inches dividing it by four and we have 9.5 inches so i'm marking 9.5 inches here then now we had two inches seam allowance so you can have less than that but i prefer to have it more and trim it out later than to be short of the fabric and then you will also mark it on your bust line so 9.5 and then two inches for the seam allowance then i will come to the waistline and input the waist measurement 
so the waist measurement and working weight is 33 inches and that will give me 8.25 inch so i mark 8.25 inch and the dart value that i use here which is 1.5 inch i will add it back and i will also add my two inches seam allowance and then i will connect all this point to create the side seam so now that we've created the side seam so i will cut this out so as you can see it i've cut it out and i've separated the yoke from the body so and this is what we have so we are assuming this is the right side of the of our fabric and this is the wrong side of our fabric so that is if you are working directly on the fabric so now we're going to be modifying the back so if you, once you've done the front it will be very easy for you to do the back so now to the back bodies so as you can see this is our basic back bodies i've placed the the waist that so you input your that value between 0 0.75 to 1 inch is the standard uh, measurement for the back waist that and i've done that here so once you've placed the that you make sure you create your side seam so for the side seam i added two inches the same thing that i added for the front that is what i added for the back and also this is the seam allowance so don't forget to add your seam allowance to it and also i have the joining allowance so i will quickly cut this out so i've cut out the back bodies as you can see and then the first thing you will need to do is to fold your seam allowance so you fold it so can you see that so you fold your seam allowance and then so this will be our right side so if you're working on the pattern paper you make sure you determine the wrong side so this side will be the wrong side and this will be the right side so if you're working directly on the fabric that will be very easy for you so now we're going to open this up so now we're going to be placing the front on it so you place the front on the back like this so this is our right side of the front this is the wrong side of the front this is the wrong side of the back so you make sure the wrong side of the if you are working on the fabric make sure the wrong side is facing each other and then this is the right side this is the right side facing the table so because this is what it will look like on the fabric and after sewing it so you make sure you align the two make sure the shoulder tip align together so i will just place this on it just to cross check that we have the same neck width for the front and the back so can you see what we have so we have exactly the same neck width so make sure you have the same neck width so once you are satisfied with what you have so you can go ahead and cut out the back yoke so this is the back yoke so i will just write the wrong on it because i don't want it to mix to be mixed up so i've cut out the the back yoke so now that we've cut out the back yoke so i will go ahead now and cut out the darts that we have here so now we are done with the pattern drafting i will go ahead now and cut on the fabric so on the fabric i will be adding seam allowance to this part of the yoke because you know we are going to be joining it to the bodies so you had your seam allowance to this part of the yoke you had your seam allowance to the neckline you had your seam allowance to the shoulder to the arm hole and also to the dart line so i will go ahead and do that and i will also add my seam allowance to this upper part and also to the back you will add your seam allowance to this part of the yoke to the arm hole and to the neckline so i will go ahead and cut on the fabric so guys i've cut it out on the fabric as you can see it and just like i told you earlier that you're going to be adding your seam allowance to the arm hole so can you see that to the dart line then to the neckline so you add it to the fabric then you also add it to the yoke so this is the seam allowance seam allowance seam allowance round and also to the neckline so this is the front so this is the back so for the back also you're going to be adding your seam allowance to the armhole to the neckline 
and also to the yoke so i'm using uh, this lace fabric as the yoke and this is what we have so before we assemble everything and we go to the sewing machine i will quickly show you how you can cut out your wording to pad your one shoulder blouse so to cut out your wording we're going to be starting with one of this side panel so and this is the under bust so whatever you have from your center front which is your nipple to nipple from this side to this side in my own case 3.5 inch you will add half an inch to it so here i will mark four inches so once you've marked it whatever you mark here which is four inches in my own case i will also mark it here so i will mark it here four inches then i will connect this point which is the under bust to this point and to this point like that and then moving to this uh, center panel to the center panel you can cut out the whole of the center panel from here to the under bust or you can also cut it out in a circular form so depending on how you want it but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be cutting out exactly what i have here so to the center panel now the four inches that i mark here i will also mark it from the bust line to this upper part so i will mark four inches here as well like this now once you've marked the four inches here all you will need to do is just to place your ruler then you connect it to this part straight line like this and then you will also cut it out at the under bust so as you can see i've cut out the pattern and i've also cut out the wording so when you want to cut out your wording all you need to do is just to add your seam allowance to the dart line so and that is it you don't need to add it to the upper part or the lower part just add it to the dart line so i will place it on the fabric now so that you can see how it will look like so to assemble the fabric the first thing is to place the the wording that you've cut out you place it on the wrong side of the front so can you see that so this is the half and inch seam allowance so when you are cutting your padding you cut out exactly what you have here all you need to do is just to add your you had your seam allowance to the dart line you don't need to add it to the upper part so once you've pinned the wording to the fabric then you're going to connect this panel to this center panel and this panel to this center panel and then you will do exactly the same thing to the lining so i will go ahead now and sew it so i will sew it from here so from here following this shape so i will follow this shape down to this end so like this and then i will also pick this one i will place it on it like this then i will follow this shape and I will join the two together down to this end. So I will go ahead and do that. And I will show you what next. So I've joined it together. And this is what we have. So this is the inside. And I've also done the same to the line. So once you've done that. The next thing you want to do is to attach the yoke to the main bodies. And then this is how you will do it. You can see the right side of the yoke. And the right side of the fabric. You place the two together from the shoulder area and then you're going to sew it from here through to this end so you carefully do that so like this through to this end so can you see that so that is what we're going to be doing now and also you will need to turn it with the lining so you place the right side of the lining on the right side of the fabric like this so if you are a beginner i will advise that you first of all attach the yoke to the bodies before you turn it with the lining but if you can do it this if you can do everything together that will be nice so you place the right side of the lining on the fabric and the yoke is going to be in between so i will just attach 
I will just pin it down like this. So the yoke will be in between. So when I want to sew now, I will place the place the lining on it like this. And then I will carefully sew it through, just like I explained earlier, through to the other side. So now we want to assemble the back. And I've sewn the dart for the back. So this is the, the dart. So I've sewn it already. So all you need to do is just to attach your yoke, just like we did for the front. So you also need to sew the dart separately on the lining, which I've done here. Then you go ahead and place the right side of the lining on the right side of the fabric. And then we're going to attach the yoke just exactly the same way we did for the front. So we're going to sew the yoke like this. So you place it from the shoulder and then you sew it exactly the same way we did for the front. So it will go around through to this side. So you will place the yoke in between the lining and the fabric. So just like this. So I will pin it down. And then to sew it, you will just make sure you place the yoke like this. Place the lining. And then you will sew it from the shoulder through to the zip allowance area. So you sew it carefully and gently like this through to this side and then also for this one this one is very easy just place the yoke in between so you place the yoke in between the lining and the fabric and then you make sure the three are lined together and then you sew it like this through to the armhole area so i will go ahead and do that and then I will show you what next. So after attaching the yoke, this is what the back looks like. Can you see that? So can you see the yoke? And this is what the wrong side looks like. So now I will go ahead and fix the zip to the back. This is the front. So this is what the front looks like. So can you see? So this is what the front looks like this is the wrong side of the front so i will go ahead now and fix the zip and once i fix the zip i will join the two together at the shoulder and i will show you how it looks like so i fix the zip as you can see it and this is what the back looks like so can you see how neat and lovely the yoke is at the back so i've joined the shoulder together and i've also created the side seam using the measurement so once you've done this you can go ahead and attach your sleeve to the armhole and also attach whatever you want to attach to the waistline so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial today and this is how to make a one shoulder blouse with yoke i hope you find it helpful if yes don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave your comment share and subscribe to my channel if you're here to do so Till I see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.